Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in, well, yesterday's daily challenge. A really, really hilarious one because, well, I mean, these people are riding segways. It's a bunch of people in a circle riding segways. They're just posing for a panorama in the parking lot. You know, it's a really good one because there's also the ground is, is part of it. And, I like, the skybox is really well done. I mean, there's a little bit of weirdness over here. But, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not I'm not a panorama expert. But isn't this, like, kind of hard to do? To take, to take one that involves, like, a, a perfect sky and ground? I mean, it's not perfect by any means. But, like, this is a... This is a good one. You can see the line here where, where it messes up a little bit. But other than just a little bit of weirdness going on, it's it's a, this is some pretty good stitching that's going on here. So, where in the world do you think these people are? That was a question I asked yesterday, and now it's time for me to figure it out. Well, all I can really go on is these buildings right over here, which seem to only be located in one place in the world, as far as I can tell. And it always seems to be Austria. So that's where I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess we're in Austria. Where in Austria? Well, it's not super snowy. So instead of going over here in uh, the Dong of Austria, or whatever you want to call this part, uh, I'm sure it has a real name. There's someone in the comment section uh, once affectionately referred to it as the Dong. So, you know, I'm going to say that. Uh, if that's offensive, I'm, I'm very sorry to any Austrian viewers out there. But, you know, you, you got to look at it. And that that's what it is um so yeah there you go we're gonna say sort of close to vienna sort of near oh let's go closer to hungary let's go right down here and say that's where we are let's make the guess and was it still in austria it was it was in the dong even you know right right at the base of the dong to be honest it was uh, let's let's find out a real name for it do we have a real name for this place tyrol sure we were in tyrol tyrol one of the two. Well, there you go. That was the province and or state that we were in. Probably state. Uh, there you go. Or region. Something like that. That's where we were. Right there. Near, uh, I guess, the, the big town is Schwaz. Maybe. Genbach. Uh, Fugen. I'm not really sure. But there you go. You were in Austria anyways. 4,095 points. That is uh, pretty sweet. And now on to today's daily challenge. All right, here we are in paradise, it seems so, for today's daily challenge. And what sets this place apart from a lot of the uh, beach scenarios we've been to before is the smoothness of the surface uh, that we're on right now. I mean, specifically this in this direction, because in the other direction, you know, there's a little bit of rocks over here. There's some sort of green garbage and, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, specks now and again, as well as a, a pier uh, that is jutting out from there. But in this direction, all we get to enjoy is the really, really smooth sand. Now, I think it just rained in this location, which is why the sand is that smooth. Or maybe this place experiences particularly high tides that they go like all the way over to this area. And it just smoothed the whole surface. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's very many waves. So, uh, you know, not very many waves accompanied by uh, tides that go, like, all the way up. Uh, it creates a, a very, very smooth beach at low tide. Something that looks really, really cool uh, when snapped at this appropriate time. So the real question is, where in the world are we? Here you go. We can zoom in this way and uh, take a look at our fun friends that are... Uh, Look, like they're sitting around, uh, you know, they got like a, so, sort of a, like a, a green uh, chair right here. They got some sort of uh, Land Rover vehicle or something like that they're driving. And uh, perhaps this guy's getting out a tripod or maybe it's a, a giant clothespin to put on this guy's head. Uh, who knows? It's probably not the, the clothespin thing. It might not be a tripod either, though. So uh, where in the world do you guys think that we are? Put it down in the comment section below and tell me because I have no idea. In tomorrow's episode, much like in the section you just saw, I'm going to be making a guess as to where I think it is, and I will put down in the comment section of tomorrow's video whoever guessed closest. So, put down your guesses and tell me where do you think this location can be. Uh, put it down, and hopefully you are the one that guesses the closest.
All right, and welcome back to the main section. Uh, well, not welcome back, you know, I always say that. I'm welcoming myself back, to be honest, because I go and record the conclusion to that uh, daily challenge you guys just saw, and then I sort of welcome myself back to the main section. Uh, I, I mean, it's not like there's even a pause. Usually, the, the I, I, I cut the audio so short that it's almost as if my ramblings just continue. It's not even really a gap sometimes but uh, anyways welcome back from that crossfade i gotta figure out another way to do that all right welcome to the main section of uh today's uh video which is uh pretty darn exciting it's a viewer challenge one brought to us by xd the julian xd yes that's right um someone new either new to uh, sending challenges or new to watching or just new to commenting uh i mean you know uh, you're new to commenting, I know that. You're new to sending a challenge, I know that. But uh, you may be new or not new to watching, regardless of whether you are or aren't. Thank you so much for sending this in. Um, it is really awesome. I always love seeing new people in the comment section. Always love seeing old people in the comment section. Uh, always love seeing people in the comment section. Uh, to be honest, it's a whole lot of fun. And you sent me a challenge, which is super cool. No specific theme other than the awesome theme. One of my favorite themes places you've been in real life which is really cool because i always like seeing the places people have been and how i haven't been to places uh, quite as cool as uh, you've been to before which is awesome so you sent me this challenge and you can find a link to this down in the description below if you guys want to do the challenge uh, before you watch me do it or you know you can just you know watch me do it or you can just do the challenge yourself now if you want to send a uh you want to create a challenge yourself send one to me just go to geosetter.com g-e-o-s-e-t-t-r.com and create a challenge you'll get a custom link it's giant you know it looks something along the lines of uh this you can send it to me via the youtube inbox system which is preferable or post it as a comment in one of the uh episodes and uh there you go i i definitely put it i'll put it right there in the the, the big old uh the big old well a big old folder that i have them all in 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 my gmail uh which is awesome and then i'll be able to do it also uh if you don't want me saying your name um then make sure you tell me in uh in the message you send along with uh, the challenge that you would rather remain anonymous and that is totally fine as well but anyways Thank you so much, XD, the Julian XD, or the Julian, or Julian. Uh, I don't really know how you want that being said, but um, you know that that doesn't really matter. It could be it could be like uh, you know that that face the with, with the eyes and the, the big old mouth, the Julian, and then that face yet again. Uh, who knows? Uh, but there you go. Let's do this challenge, and uh, there you go. Boom, boom. All right, challenge has been accepted. Of course. Okay, where is this in the world? Okay, all right. I'm getting a European vibe from this, specifically the Netherlands. If I had to, uh, if I had to guess where in the world this is, uh, right off the bat. But I don't know. This could be a few other places. It could be France. Uh, this could be. It could be England. Although I'd be surprised. Uh, would I be surprised? Let's just make sure that I would. I'm parking both directions on the road. Actually, maybe I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know. This just doesn't um, doesn't really look like uh, look like England uh, right now. But it could be. I mean, there's a lot of different places in England. I'm um, sure. So I could definitely be. But let's go. Let's go check out. Uh, let's go check out this this store right here. All right. So we've got a snack bar. De Dracht. Heel and Wilma. All right. Heckle and Wilma. De Dracht. Well, with a name like De Dracht, I I'd have to say uh, that uh, the possibility of this being uh, the Netherlands is is quite quite present right there. Uh, is there anything else that we can see? I mean, there there was like a vehicle parked right here, wasn't there? That that had some writing on it, which would have been nice to see. Uh, I guess we could also be in a few other countries, considering we haven't really seen uh, too much writing other than just seeing De Dracht. Also, I'm you know sort of being uh, aware that there is some kind of a pond over here uh, or canal, which uh, you know. Could, could be indicative of the Netherlands as well. I don't want to say that that's where we are, because I don't actually know for sure. Uh, Six-digit phone number is an interesting thing. 
that that is that is a bit of a, a bit of an interesting one six digit phone numbers eh all right oh, i'm going to the reason i'm saying the netherlands is because of the yellow license plates by the way if anyone's wondering how how i came up to that decision yellow license plates is uh is pretty much the entire answer actually uh, and i'm just trying to find you know some, something written uh, so I can actually see, I mean, other than the draft, it doesn't really help too much. I mean, it helps a little, but, you know, I'd like a little bit more. Uh, but we're never going to find our way, our way out of this, out of this housing uh, area. I mean, it's just houses. I mean, that's what, that's what a lot of places are like, really, in the world. I'm, I'm totally aware of that. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying I'd love it if I could actually leave this, this housing. It's a, it's, a, it's a labyrinth, a labyrinth of houses that I can't leave, um, which is... Which is fine. I mean, I'm sure if I was a pedestrian, this would be easy. Unfortunately, um, you know, making it uh, very hard for me to leave. As as much as as I'm seeing, it, it keeps reinforcing my thought that we are in the Netherlands. Uh, so that that's what I'm going to be guessing here. Uh, honestly, there you go. Someone on their bicycle. Very nice. Now, where are we? Is the real question. I, I, oh my oh my lord this is this is so tricky to escape here I can't believe it oh hold on do we see something okay we're seeing we're seeing kids at school okay that's cool it, 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 oh okay let's just keep moving this maybe this uh this garbage truck is that a garbage truck uh yeah it's a garbage truck all right we can't really read what's on it because it, it passes by within the single frame of the picture and, uh, you know, people are, are just playing down on the street. All right, cool. Oh, my God. Finally, finally left. I'm so happy that we can see this. And, and what do we get to see? Well, we get to see um, De Guden Nald. Oh, uh, you know, all right. Um, that's 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 fine the, there's, that there's two A's. It could still be... Could still be, uh, it could still be the Netherlands with with that. I shouldn't, I shouldn't let that, uh, I shouldn't let that throw me off. Great pianos, uh, Groningen. All right, I don't know, I don't know what to what to do with that information, but uh, there you go, exactly what I thought. It is the name of a place. I, I I don't know why I don't say these things. Is that the name of the place? Of a place they could be, and I think it is. I mean, it is now that I see it. But that was my thought process: is is that the name of a place? I think it is. So yeah, we're gonna say we're gonna say it is. Uh, we're gonna say that uh, the labyrinth we were caught in was. Uh, let's give it, uh, let's give it this, this labyrinth right here. That's where we were, I, I think is, uh, I mean, you know, I don't, I, I actually have no idea. But there you go, the great pianos, that's where we're gonna say, uh, that we are. Also, is this a, is this a .nl, uh, website? It perhaps is, it doesn't really matter. Boom, ah, we were actually in, uh, Drakton, Drakton, maybe? Ah, okay. Uh, right over here, and, oh, I see, look at that, D-E. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that that is the road that we were on. We saw that a little bit earlier. All right, that looks uh, you know a little bit more uh, uh, like it. But uh, you know how how the heck was I supposed to know that we were going to be out there or not there? You know, to be honest, that's a very good guess as far as uh, as the Netherlands go. So very very awesome. Wow, that was really really cool. Ah, wow, wow! Look at this place. Okay, it's gonna say. I was gonna say this place again, but uh, it's not this place again. It's not um, uh, for for a moment there. Oh, hello. <laughs> there you go. It's two people just looking nice at the camera. Um, I was gonna say, oh wow, look at this. This is really beautiful. Um, okay, so this uh, this was this is a picture taken by someone uh, by the name of Wolf Dudlinger. Okay. Well, that is that is really cool. It's got a it's got a flag over here, but it looks like it's green and white. It doesn't really give me much. Um, look at that church. Wow, that is definitely something. Look at these big, imposing um, uh, steeples. I don't know what you exactly call call the these things. I mean, I think yeah, that, it doesn't matter. Look at these big, imposing things right here. Wow, that is. That is quite that is quite the church. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. That is that looks really cool. Also, it's like uh, you know it's been like stained black over the years of um, I mean uh, cars driving by and stuff like that. Now the real question is where are we with this? And that's a bit of a tough one, honestly. With with not many clues, uh, it is it is very hard. 
So we've got um, something bottle Berlin uh, Paris now worst worst weed the paddle uh, Mo Mo Sen Mo Sel Selm and, and these so these places I don't really know where those places are nor do I really know where where battle is mini bus okay well we could be okay what what does things say wrath apoth okay this person do you got a shirt that will give me a clue I feel like I've seen these two people before in a picture. But I don't think we've been here before. I really don't think we have uh, at all. But I don't know. I mean, I feel I feel like I've seen these two. Maybe maybe I maybe I've refreshed past this loca past this location uh, for for a daily challenge and chose not to do it because there's a lot of writing that's visible. Uh, but I have no idea. I really have no idea where this is. Honestly, you know, it's been 200 episodes. Even I can't remember all of them. Uh, at, at this point and you know for you guys that are thinking of making challenges uh, Don't let that uh, idea sort of hold you back like oh well I've been to a location before seriously There's like 200 and something episodes now and there's there's gonna be repeat locations no matter what I don't think this is one because I feel like this is the first time I've seen this I haven't I, I can't remember this place at all I just feel like these two people right here are familiar for whatever reason and I don't know. I don't know what to think about this place. Um, Germany, I guess, right? Germany? Yeah, I think I think Germany is the guess. This right here, that's uh, that's Germany. I think is it not? I don't know. Let's let's go make that guess. I mean, Berlin's in Germany. We know that. I don't know where these other places are. Um, and I was gonna, I was probably gonna guess Germany anyways, uh, but we're gonna go with Germany now, let's go, where in Germany, well, let's not guess, oh, hold on, it was, were any of these, of those places Bremen, do we know that, N I don't think they were, actually, um, Berlin, uh, do we have, uh, no, seriously, none of those, none of those places are, are, are anywhere that I can, uh, that I can know. I'm gonna say this isn't Berlin, just because of how, uh, I mean, how big this place is. I mean, it must be, right? Uh, maybe not, but uh, I'm gonna say it is. I mean, it could be, it could be many other places. We're just gonna click on Berlin and uh, hope that that's right. So let's make the guess, and it was actually in Bremen. Oh, Bremen, darn. Look at that Bremen right down there. At least I at least I mentioned I, did I mention Bremen or did I just look at it and and think of it in my head and not say anything. So wow, that was really really cool. Twenty six thousand fifteen. That was that was really really darn awesome. Okay, well this is another location you've been to, which is a forest. Okay, all right. That's a that's an interesting one. Uh, just a forest. Okay, well, let's hope we're going in the right direction, because if we're not, then we are not going to find out where we are uh, at all. Other than the fact that I can use the first two guesses as uh, some sort of help, I mean, there are places that you've been, uh, unless, you've, uh, unless you've been on a trip, uh, then um, I'm going to guess that uh, unless those two locations were places that you've been to on some kind of uh, trip or vacation... Uh, then, um, well, I mean, you know, we, you know, one of them probably is, right? Unless you've actually lived in, in both those places. Uh, but what I'm, what I'm getting to is the fact that I am going to guess that uh, this is somewhere in Europe because those first two locations were. And, you know, these are locations that you've been to in real life. So I'm going to say that this is also in Europe somewhere. Um, do I think it really is? Yeah, I don't think it's North America, although it could be. Uh, it doesn't really bear striking resemblance to any forest, really, that I would see on a, on a normal day. Like, I wouldn't see a forest that looks quite like this, but I would expect some maybe in the southern U.S., somewhere like Magical Oregon, California... Um, places like that, I'd expect uh, some some forest like this, which is where we could be. But I'd expect this more um, 
I think this is more of a European forest, if I had to, to look at the, the way it looks. I mean, these trees, I don't know, I mean, it's really hard to tell. I can only, I can only base this on what forests look like near where I live. And uh, they, they, they don't look like this, I, I can tell you that much. First of all, interesting thing about this forest, just how much grass is growing in it. Uh, which is, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I kind of forget now that I'm thinking, yeah, no, forests don't have, I mean, the forests look different here. They don't, they don't, they don't look quite like this. Uh, the trees look different. It just, you know, there you go. But that's just, that's just here though. And that's not reflective of all of North America. I'm still going to guess Europe. Uh, I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, find a, a beacon of hope, which I, we think we might've actually come across something f finally. And uh, we'll try to figure out where we are. This is this is going to be tough, honestly, to figure out where, where this is. And even if I do find something, it's not going to be that good. Uh, that's blurry as well. Can we get uh, can we get lucky and, and read a sign? No? All right. I think this is going to be our final resting place. It's going to be right here. And, uh, okay, so, all right. We're biking. We're in Europe. I don't think we're that south. I'm going to say that we are in a different country, uh, not Germany or the Netherlands. Uh, I'm going to say that I, I, I could think we are in southern Sweden, to be honest. I, I could say that that's the case. I could say that we're even more south, actually. I could say uh, we're, we're, we're more south than that, but I don't really think so. Uh, I don't really think we're super far south. I could say that we're over here in this type of in this area uh, around here. I could say that we're that we're down like around here as well. But I'm gonna go with uh, just just a different country just to spice it up. Um, and although this very well could be uh, you know it could be the Netherlands, um, I'm gonna go with southern Sweden, something along the lines of I don't know. Uh, let's go. Um, right around, let's go right around, uh, the, the beautiful area of Klaikstorp. Very nice. Let's do that. And it was the Netherlands. Ah, okay. The Netherlands, indeed. Okay, so we were in, uh, Hoog Velvue, or v Velue, Velue National Park. Wow, that's a, that's a very, very nice national park. But there's a, it seems like there's an air base in there. Well, that's interesting. Uh, Dillon Air Base. Wow, that is that is really cool. Um, is this? Uh, I mean, it's a go oh, very nice national park. I just guess a different country just for fun. Uh, but it was actually the Netherlands uh, once again. Super super cool. That was a really nice place. Actually, very nice forest indeed. I'd like to go. I'd like to go bike riding in a forest like that. Um, you know, it would definitely beat bike riding in a forest like there is around here. But uh, again, there's a lot of bike riding in forests you can do around here. 2357. Very, very nice. Okay. Well, now we're on a road. Road looks North American. It is. It's American, specifically. Big old flag. That's what's great about America. America has a, has a love with flags, and, and it's fantastic. Canada... Definitely more rare. America, I would say, number one at flags. Um, you know, it got them all the time. Number two at flags is, uh, in terms of just countries in general, is going to go to, well, I mean, countries, I guess is what I'm going to have to say here, goes to uh, Scandinavia because of those banner flags that seem to fly in front of people's homes sometimes. Those are also very useful uh, then, I mean, then you do find flags by the waterfront and in front of, you know, many, I mean, look at this, there's another, it's right, it's right on a phone pole, right on a telephone pole, it's big old flag right there, that's awesome, helps everyone know what country you're in, which, uh, to be honest, isn't that useful, uh, you know, if, for most people, because I'm sure they would know they're in America if they were here, but it's useful for me right now, so I'm loving it. Um, but there you go. Also, you know, everywhere in, in has like flags on the water or in like big cities and stuff like that. Uh, but there you go. So wh what is, what is this, um, vacuum cleaners? It's not what that says. That says something, something crawlers. Eastbrook variety. Oh, there you go. Uh, I, I mean, I could read, that was a sign that I could read. Game something, something, something. 
license plate color it's just like plain it's plain colored license plates no 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 fun business going along so where in america have you been uh or you know there you go so where in america have you been to in your life well that is the real question um you've been to around here before which is an interesting place uh you know it's uh it's it's very patriotic that's that's really cool so we know that all right well i mean geez look at that so so many flags so many so many telephone poles all right so where where is this where is this land of, of ultimate patriotism um I'm gonna guess, uh, you know, I'm gonna guess the that we're like uh, sort of North Carolina height. Uh, we could be in North Carolina. We could be in Virginia, Tennessee. I'm guessing we're like around here, perhaps. We could be. No, I don't think we're in the, any of these states. Any of these states, and then we could be up here. Uh, like that, but I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess we're over here in, in this case right now. Where I'm gonna go with? Uh, I'm gonna go with North Carolina. Honestly, why? I, I don't really know. Let's go look at this sign. Michael J. Archer and Sons Builders, quality building since we don't really know when. Can't really read. It doesn't. I didn't. Doesn't actually say is the actual answer. Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't say quality builders since. It just says quality builders. Hmm. No. Okay. D and J Farms four six zero. I don't really know where that area code is. Let's get to. Uh, let's get to that parking lot up there. See if there's anything we can see. And uh, if we haven't really spotted it yet, then no, we haven't really found it. So we're gonna go with like North Carolina, like right there. Let's make the guess. Maine. Oh, gosh darn it. Maine. Maine, why are you always screwing me? Maine has been Maine has been the biggest screwer of me in the last little while. Maine has really, really come up as a state, a state of tricks, a state of nasty deeds and tricks. Always, always tricking me. I've been to Bangor, Maine. I, every time we go to Maine, I say this, this damn thing. I've been to Bangor. That's all I know about Maine. So it just um, they go driving on uh, Interstate 95 in Maine. That's that's all I know of Maine. So uh, you know, there you go. This place looks different than I remember Maine looking, which is why I can apparently never do it. I really wish I had never been to Maine, because then I would have less of an idea what it looks like, and I wouldn't make this mistake every time. But I just don't imagine Maine looking like that. Lyle Forest Wildfire Management Area. Very nice. In Maine, near a place called Franklin, Ellsworth. Wow, that is really nice. We've been to, is is this is this the area that we've been to in, in Maine? Yeah, I, th I think it is. I think we've been to, like, a, in this area uh, a bunch of times before. Very, very cool indeed. 20, 79 points. All right, that's awesome. Okay, well, now the real question is where are we now? Uh, Restaurante Cantina Don Rafael. Okay, well, we've got um, we've got a very touristy boardwalk, uh, which is something that uh, is to realize a very touristy boardwalk, and uh, we've got Aptos. Okay, and a bunch of uh, Atlantis. Atlantis. Are we in? Are we in the Bahamas? Actually. Yeah, there's an Atlantis resort in the Bahamas. It's, it's quite a famous one, and um, and it's uh, it's it, where's the Bahamas again? It's right over here. Uh, it's the the Atlantis resort in the Bahamas is. is oh yeah, this is, is this where where the hell is? I don't really know where where the Bahamas is, but there you go. Paradise Beach, Paradise Island. Smugglers Beach. I mean, is this Nassau? Is, is that still the Bahamas? I don't really know. What the heck is this place? I, I think it is. I think it. I think it is. I think. I think that is where I should be looking. Right. I mean, I've kind of forgotten, which is which is sad. But I'm gonna say that this is where I'm supposed to be looking. So uh, we're gonna go there. And yeah, okay. So that is where I'm supposed to be looking. See Atlantis Paradise Island. 
this is this is quite a famous resort uh, worldwide. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, it was it was big when it came out, but uh, it's like uh, this water slide that you get into like uh, like an inflatable tube and slide down and then you go into this un you, you, so you go in like this inner tube you slide down this you woo you big big old drop it's fun it's shaped like um uh like um. Um, I do, did those those sort of Mayan pyramid type things shaped like one of those. You slide down it, and then it it it, it brings you into like a glass tube that's underwater in a big sh t uh, shark tank. So as you're you're floating down after you've dead went down this water slide, you get to you know look around and see sharks swimming up all around, all around you, and you're in this glass tube underwater. Uh, that's that's what uh, that's what the uh, Atlantis. Uh, resort in the Bahamas is famous for so I'm just gonna say that 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 is what that is uh, Is that what it is probably not uh, but uh, heck uh, You know, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm just, I'm just gonna guess that it is uh, where are we? I'm gonna guess uh, that uh, I don't know we were, were that we're actually though on like Bay Street and uh, You know, we're, we're right around here um, sure, I mean, it doesn't, does that, uh, no, you know what, that didn't really make sense, because, you see, we're in Europe, we're in Europe right now, I, and I, and I should have, I should have sort of realized that, we're in Europe, damn it, we're in Europe, ah, oh, fuck it all, Ah oh, man, that really sucks, where the hell are we then, we are in Europe, with these, look at these license plates, Oh man, I don't want I don't want to be there. I want to be right, but we're not. So we're in uh, we're in Jeez Louise. I don't know. It's a real tough one. I have no idea. American Indian Cafe. Wow, look at this. Where is this place? It's the place of dreams. It's got everything, everything around here. I I, I don't know. I, I I I really really have absolutely no idea. Um, we can go look at this right here. We, I think it's an E. I think we're in Spain. Uh, so, I mean, I guess, I guess we're in Spain. Where in Spain? I don't know. Um, I seriously have absolutely no idea. Uh, I mean, look at this place. Wow. This place, this place looks, this place looks very fun though. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, as as much as like you know, you're down here and you're like, geez, this is like the the ultimate touristy place I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you know what? It does. It, you know, I I'm a sucker for this kind of thing. I'd have I'd have fun here. Um, Concegelia de Turismo. Yeah, I think so. Um, Porto Carmen. Okay, where where is that? Uh, where is Puerto Carmen? Okay, well we're not we're not there, which is just too bad. I really wish we were, um, but we're not. So we're gonna go with uh, should we go with something like Ibiza? I mean, maybe. Uh, is there? There's no Puerto Carmen around there, is there? I, I don't. I I honestly just have no idea anymore. I, what is what does Ibiza look like? It's pretty touristy there. I know that much, but. Other than that, like I, I don't, I, I don't know. I mean, the, the European license plates are, are the thing, right? It's an E. It's we're in Spain. We know that much. We've got to be in Spain. Uh, where in Spain are we? I honestly just have no idea where where we are. Um, I mean, we could we could just go down and, and keep looking, but I don't think we should. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna guess straight up. We're just I'm gonna say we're just we're just in Ibiza, I guess. Uh, right over here, right there, right along right along this nice little boardwalk. I honestly have no idea. Let's make the guess. No, we were in uh, the the Ca Canary uh, yeah Canary Islands. Ah, oh, okay, that makes sense. Canaries. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. Mm, I forgot about the Canary Islands in, in part of Spain. I forgot about that. Ah, okay, that that's a big one. Of course, I, I should have figured that out. I, I I forgot that this was a place. You know, um, it's it's not a um, 
I think in um, I think in in Europe, you know, people think about this as a, as a destination vacation, but um, I've never met anyone who's ever been to uh, the Canary Islands. In fact, I've never met anyone who's spoken about going on a vacation, or who I never met anyone who's really who really talks about going to the Canary Islands. It's not something. I guess it's it's not something anyone from here talks to talks about going to. No one wants to take a trip. No one wants to take a trip there. No one talks about that. I mean, I'm sure it's really nice. I'm sure to have a whole lot of fun. It's just, uh, you know, I guess um, there may be some uh, sort of general. Let's take a trip to this uh, places, and those places uh, are found uh, for for I guess uh, a lot of uh, a lot of you know North American people. Maybe maybe just you know I'm speak specifically to people uh, around the area where I live. People you know talk a lot about I guess you know. Cancun and people go to a lot of places in Mexico. Puerto Vallarta is a big one. I've actually been to that one. Uh, I guess uh, the Bahamas, uh, Cuba, Dominican, uh, you know, a lot of places around here. You can, you can even go to Florida if you really want to be a little bit less uh, exotic. You know, Florida is still very nice. Um, there you go. So, I mean, those, the, 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 this sort of area is the kind of places uh, where I feel like uh, people go to have a vacation similar to basing solely on what I've seen of this boardwalk, have an experience very similar to one to going on a trip and going to this location here. Because honestly, that boardwalk could have been many, many places um, if you were to just change up a few things that, you know, gave it sort of a national identity, which there was. Um, but uh, there wasn't very much. It was very hard to guess. So, awesome challenge. I really love this one. First location was our best guess. Uh, we It was in the Netherlands. Um, close to Groningen, but really it was Drachten. Wow, very, very nice indeed. Hopefully, um, hopefully if uh, if this is well, I mean maybe this is just where 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 you've been. But if this is where you're from, then hopefully you don't have uh, animosity towards this town right over here. Because as I found out before, as it turns out, uh, you know, uh, guessing guessing so uh, guessing a neighboring town, guessing is so close. You know, you might get uh, a little bit of oh those 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 bastards in Groningen. You know. Oh, they wear their shoes backwards, and you know uh, they, uh, they 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 spit while they walk. I don't know, you know, whatever. People people always don't like people from the sort of similarly sized town that's close to where you are from. You know, it's always the same sort of thing. Um, I mean. It's more like sports rivalries, to be honest, but, uh, you know, there's also, like, I mean, you know, sports rivalries, plenty of things where towns can be sort of, uh, you know, rivals. Uh, then we were in Germany, Bremen, not Berlin, very cool. Then we were in a cool uh, bike path national park in the Netherlands, not southern Sweden. Then we were in America, land of the free, Maine, very, very cool, near Franklin and Ellsworth. I don't really know. We were in Maine. Maine, tricky, tricky state. Maine is uh, becoming uh, a noteworthy, tricky state. And then finally, uh, Canary Islands. Uh, we were down over here, and this one in Puerto del Carmen. Very, very nice. Uh, I guess Ibiza, which uh, we were not in Ibiza. So pretty cool indeed. Thirteen thousand five hundred and seventy-five points. Definitely not my best score ever. Uh, but you know there were some uh, there were some pretty far guesses in that one. I, I wasn't able to uh, nail it down as much as I would like. So that was pretty darn awesome. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for that challenge once again. And as always, I will be seeing you guys next time. Oh yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.